I am officially back at school. Welcome to the first week of classes vlog. It's 1.22 and this day has gotten away from me so fast. I went to one class this morning. Yesterday, I have to tell you about yesterday. It was like such a train wreck. Probably the worst travel day I've ever had. It was really bad. But I made it back last night, got a little bit unpacked, and then just went straight to bed. And then I woke up this morning and I only had one class. So if you missed my last video, I was talking about how my schedule is structured and I have a really heavy class load on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but just one class in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's the situation for this semester. I'm really excited. I was not like excited leaving. I was kind of a mess. Exhibit A, I was kind of panicking about coming back. The second I got back in my room and just in the building in general, it was like I had never left and I just got right, I like snapped back into it. I went to my one class this morning and I had lunch with a bunch of my friends and now I'm here. Back in my room, I'm just wearing this today. It's not super cold. It's like 40 degrees and sunny, but I have a video to finish. I've been putting this video off because I didn't want to edit it because I knew I was emotional in the video, but it's almost done. So I'm gonna finish this and then I will tell you the story of yesterday because it was a mess. Also, I was unpacking and I brought this back with me. This is Rituals Symbiotic Plus. It's a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. I don't want to say health kick, but I've been on a big supplement I've been watching all these TikToks about how like we're all naturally deficient in certain supplements because our diet is mainly processed food. So I'm excited about working with Ritual. They're doing a big 40% off sale for New Year's, especially as a college student. There's just so many factors like traveling from place to place, eating dining hall food, just the stress of academics that can throw off our gut. I'm sure you've heard of them before, but I love Ritual because all their products are clean, traceable, and science-backed. And I love this product specifically because it has two of the world's most clinically studied pro probiotic strains and it's shelf stable so you don't have to put it in the refrigerator and you can travel with it it also eases digestive discomforts and literally you could talk to any of my friends we all agree that we are unwell from the dining hall food like we don't know what's going in our food we don't know all the ingredients and we're in college like none of us have perfect diets and this helps with bloating and gas and just overall gut health in general i'm excited to be on my supplement grind in 2024 just taking all the stuff that's going to help my body work the best it can if you don't like ritual within the first 30 days your first order is on them with that you can use my code miss kd40 i'll leave it on the screen and i'll also leave a link down below in the description box so you can get 40 percent off ritual it's a limited time sale usually this is 54 but you can get it for 32 with my code in the link down below. So if you've been thinking about trying it, now is the time. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring, and I need to get into my story time about the train wreck of yesterday. Back. We're back! We're so back! Bro, everyone's been saying that. I've had these braids in for over 24 hours. Probably 30 something at this point. It's now 3.36, I'm almost done with this video. My roommates came back in, obviously, as you saw, they just left again, but we were all just sitting in bed. So I forgot to tell you the story about yesterday because I got carried away with this. This glare is bothering me. I don't even know where to start. Basically, I was flying out of Long Beach Airport. There's two smaller airports in Orange County. I don't even know if Ontario is Orange County, but one is Long Beach, obviously by the beach, by the coast, and the other is Ontario, more inland. And for some reason, there was a mix up and Matt thought I was flying out of an Ontario airport. He claims that I said I was flying out of Ontario, but I never recall saying that because I have never flown out of that airport and so it never would have been on my mind. Sure enough, we start driving and he said something about how he had to take the toll road and I, I can't believe I had no situational awareness because we're obviously on the toll road that's going inland and I just thought nothing of it. I was like, oh, this must be a different way. There must be traffic. And then I looked at him at one point and I was like, wait, are these airports the same? Like, you know how there will be different names for certain airports? Like the one that's closest to me is usually John Wayne Airport, but some people call it Orange County Airport, Santa Ana. There's like multiple names for airports sometimes. And I looked at him and I was like, I didn't realize that Ontario and Long Beach were the same airport. Why is that? And he's like, I have no idea. Like, I don't know. It was just so dumb. It didn't occur to either of us. So obviously, I was going to the wrong airport, I get my bags out, I say bye, like the sad long distance goodbye, won't see you for however long it's gonna be. And I go and take my bags up to the counter and I hand the lady my boarding pass and she's like, I don't know why this isn't scanning. And I was like, oh weird, I'll, can you try this one? We're going back and forth and she's like, oh, I know why it's not scanning because you're not flying out of this airport. And I'm not one, usually in these situations, I go straight to problem solving mode. I'm not one to cry or get emotional, but I think because I was so sad saying bye to Matt moments before, I just broke down. I was like fully panicked and I started freaking out and I called Matt. I said to myself, okay, this is fine. I can fix this easily. I just have to get to Long Beach really quick. So I look up my phone, like go to map to Long Beach and it's an hour away. And these airports are so small. Usually the rule of thumb 
based on what I know is to get to the airport two hours before your flight leaves. But with these ones, it's more like an hour, hour and a half. So I was there an hour and a half before my flight and Matt was already 15 minutes away. So I just knew I was gonna miss my flight. And the woman at the ticketing counter or the bag drop counter told me that the next available flight out of that airport was at three o'clock and it was gonna cost over $400 to change it. Anyway, Matt turned around and came and got me and it ended up being a blessing in disguise. I had to connect through Oakland and my flight before was nonstop, which was kind of a hiccup because I got here like three hours later than I should have, but I didn't have to pay a penny to change the flight and Matt was able to come get me and it all worked out fine, but I will, Never like I learned my lesson. I will never go to the wrong airport again. It was just a mess Such as us I'm talking about how I went to the wrong airport yesterday. Oh it was so bad It was so bad and then I landed in Oak the flight was delayed out of Orange County That's the airport I went out of or ended up going out of and the delay made it so that I landed just in time and I was running through the airport just for that next flight to be delayed so it was quite the day for me, but I made it back safe and sound at like nine something last night and that's the story of yesterday. Probably the dumbest thing I've ever done because I was so unaware of my surroundings when we were driving to not realize where we were and it was just bad, but it all worked out. Oh my gosh, I almost just passed out in that core power class, probably because of the altitude. It's so windy. I finished all my work just in time to go to this class. I was on the fence about going because I was like, I just got back from traveling. Like, maybe I should give myself a rest. But I'm so glad I went. I feel so good. But I need to eat dinner and then tonight at Young Life. Hold on, I gotta go while this is green for me. Look at all the snow. I'll show you guys tomorrow morning because it's way prettier when it's light out and you can see the whole mountain snowy. Anyway, we're having a hot cocoa and ketchup thing at Young Life tonight. So I'm going to go see all my friends from there, warm up, drink hot cocoa. I need to eat dinner too. I'm starving. So maybe me and Emily can go grab something because I think she's in the room. It's been a great first day back. So praise the Lord. And it feels so good to be outside in the cold right now, especially after being in that hot room. I need to shower and get these braids out because I look... Crazy town. Me and Kira are showering and we're gonna have a concert while we do so. So loud. <laughs> this is so so loud. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> clean. I truly feel like a new woman. So rejuvenated. I'm gonna drink another electrolyte thing. I drank one of these before I left because I want to stay on top of my hydration because of the altitude. And I ordered dinner. I ordered sweet green to be delivered on DoorDash. I can't get my part right one second. Is that right? Went to Core Power. I went up to the counter to give my name because usually you'll give your name and then they check you in for class. And she asked me if I wanted to do a drop-in or you can buy class packs to go to multiple classes and it's less money. So I went to buy a class pack. And usually when I buy a class pack, I ask for the student discount. So I asked for the student discount. She's like, oh, we don't do them on class packs and I was like it's so odd every other location I've bought one at has given the student discount I think it's like 20% off shut up Emily went to Target the Oreos and then she bought me these oh she gave me this okay <laughs> <laughs> do you like these like is this the thing you said you I don't like? know <laughs> okay oh my god look my favorite coke minis and then the best chips Not I don't like them but I know so Get them, get them. But um, yeah, that's that's my haul. Like, you look at these bags; they don't have any plastic anymore. Oh, why? Is it a environmentally friendly? All stores friendly are getting thing? rid of plastic. Trader Joe's. That's has always saying, been doing it right. This. She wouldn't give me the discount. This is like the extension of my story. She was being super nice about it. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries, whatever. She's like, you know what? I'm just going to comp your class. And so I didn't have to pay for the class. So my girl math is that my dinner oh, is like class. free because I felt really good after, but during it, I wanted to diet sweet green. You didn't tell me? <laughs> I didn't know if you ate already. Did you eat yet? No. No, really? I, in my mind, you left because you had thought you had went to dinner. No, my baby was like, come and dine with me. No, like, <laughs> I feel so bad. Yeah, you. Next <laughs> time. So, girl math, my dinner's free Oops. because I didn't have to pay for the workout class. I'm so pumped. My food is here. And this was my appetizer. I don't know where it went. This, some Mott's applesauce. Applesauce is so good. I think it's like the most underrated snack. I love it. Jeez. 
cheers i'm gonna eat this and watch some more suits i'm already like halfway through season two it's so good this looks delectable we're back we're back i miss katie so Yay! much super puffs for life hi vlog um i just want to say something oh you don't know this hi violet my roommate oh. biggest fan of yours no way yes yeah, so she's awesome violet this one's for you i didn't know what you were about to say I was like, hi no, violet we're at the young life house in case you're new it's the best place and there's all my besties here uh, and i love everyone there's always good food there's so much water right here don't step in that it's so much slush you guys it's yeah, really bad Oh my gosh, Adeline, I can't even, I didn't even realize that you were being that serious. No, I'm for real, because I stepped on it when I got out. Oh crap. Happy Thursday. I've been up since like seven. I woke up three minutes before my alarm, so I went to bed. I need to go back in time and recap. I went to bed pretty early. Early for me is like 11, which is sad, because it's really not early, but usually I'm up to like one or two. So that was great, and it gives me motivation to continue to go to bed early because obviously like my body got enough sleep i was waking up and it was the right amount of time i'm in this nike set i love wearing this set to class because i feel like it's super comfy but it's nice enough to the point where i don't feel like i'm still in my pajamas going to class i think it's because the bottoms flare out and it makes it feel fancier and i can wear a puffer over this and then if it's hot in the room just take off my jacket and be fine there's snow still all over the ground and it's super good weather today it was really windy this morning but i think it's died down and it feels like it's 65 degrees because the sun's out i had two classes I'm about to leave again. I came back here and I literally was like staring at the wall staring at my phone and then staring at the wall because my first two classes were really overwhelming honestly we watched these very thought-provoking videos in the second one and it was just a lot to take in because all these classes are an hour and 15 minutes long the ones on Tuesdays and Thursdays and they're just super busy days because I have two classes stacked in the morning and then two stacked in the afternoon and today's extra busy because after my last class of the day I'm going to the Delta Gamma house for dinner and a service hour so it's just like go 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 today my battery is flashing so I have to hurry up but it's 12 14 and I'm about to go have lunch with Cami and Adeline. I was so tired when I came back. I just couldn't even like, I just needed the time to decompress, but I need to call Grace back. I was on the phone with her and I have like a 20 minute walk. So it's perfect timing. We're gonna see each other in like 23 days. Thank God. Wait, I need to talk about the um, hoodie you got me. I was wearing it yesterday. I forgot to mention this yesterday. What? You left it at home? That's devastating. This is the best hoodie ever. It's $30 on Amazon. They have a bunch of colors. I'll put the photo here because there's so many. And it feels like Aritzia or Abercrombie. It's so thick. Two people have asked me if it's from Aritzia. And it's just perfect for college. I don't think this is straight. I have a medium and it's perfect fit. I take back what I said earlier. I just got out of my last class. I'm walking to the house. And I love that class. The professor has bad reviews on rate my professor but i think he's so great and i'm really excited about that class mostly because of the content i took so many gen eds last semester so it's really fun to take more major specific classes and stuff that i'm like super fascinated by and interested in so i'm excited about my schedule and even though i have four classes today it's really not that bad because the third one is on zoom but i'm so hungry i'm excited to go in the warm house and eat dinner <laughs> okay bye what's going on <laughs> you said she was upset she wasn't in the vlog so yeah she didn't um film our uniting our really reuni cool. reunion yeah. I miss everybody. So I was just getting ready to go to the basketball game and I was cleaning out my fanny pack. Look what I found. I literally said to myself when I was coming back from church, I can't leave these or I can't take these with me. I have to leave them. This has been a really dumb back. week for me. I'm getting ready to go to the basketball game. Annie's going to. Emily's going to take yeah. her composite photos. She looks stunning. She's like, stop. Actually <laughs> gorgeous. I'm wearing my eBay jacket. Very cute. And she's wearing her Uggs. I am. This room is a sty. I really need to get it cleaned up, but gotta go. No time. On to me. I don't know where to look right there. So, um, I'm making a Depop, and Katie's gonna put it on her story, because I asked her to, very nicely. So then, um, you guys can She's find using me. It. You know, some of the stuff she won't post because it's too revealing, but some people like revealing <laughs> things like me. <laughs> and you. <laughs> for a good Stop. price. <laughs> okay? Love you guys. Stay tuned. For the Depop. Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> the room is clean and I'm back from the game. I'm eating an Oreo. The time is 12.26 and I'm gonna go do my skincare. This is my new thing. This is my skincare bag. This is a little what I mean is, but I was getting annoyed switching everything in and out of my shower caddy. So I just put all the stuff that I use at night in this bag. I have my moisturizer, cleanser, mouthwash, all the stuff that I use at night that doesn't really need to be in my shower caddy because then things are going all over the place and I feel like it contributes to the clutter. That's all. 
I think there was something else, but I forget. So let's go take care of all this and then I can get cozy in my bed and watch suits. I just want to take out my earrings. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I have Oreo on my front teeth. Should go down to this. Round two. Happy Friday! We're at Target. Natalie's here too. These are always out at this Target. Look at this. This is in shambles. But oh, jeez. There goes the tripod. Target haul. We're in Sydney's car. She let me borrow her car because I went to go take my skis to get tuned up. I didn't want to Uber. Best smelling body wash This stuff smells ever. so good. It's the best. Beach rose, coconut milk. Yeah, we both got this. I ran out of the one I had here and I left my other one at home. Okay. Natalie's testing the e.l.f. lip oil. Kind of tastes like plastic and the Dior lip oil. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. It smells a but little then, bit minty. Yeah, like the lip oil, but it's also like kind of rubbery. Feels pretty similar to me. I'm not like as great of a honestly, makeup connoisseur as you are. I feel like you would have a better review. I honestly love it. Good. Kinda, like I feel like the shade's cute too. My friend Grace used it and she said it was really good, but it wore off quick. Probably. So. But so does the Dior. How much is the Dior? 40. Oh wow, then yeah, that's probably Except Summer worth Fridays it. just came out with lip oil and I really want to try it. How much is that? Probably like for twenty six. So. What's your rating out of ten? Seven out of ten. Seven, Seven out of ten, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going back to the dorm and then to the women's basketball game tonight. We went to the men's one last night, but crazy game. Oh. We're just Whoa. <laughs> what is that from? It's I don't know. For some reason this car makes a different noise when you reverse. We're going back to the dorms. This car also doesn't have a backup camera, which is why I'm parked all the way in the middle of nowhere because <laughs> I I'm not comfortable backing out with that one. I have so much. I rely too much on it. Oh, look who's calling me. Hey, Oscar. Natalie also has a long distance boyfriend. Oh, she's vlogging. So we bond over that.